So I Darius agree, Garland Scott. back tonight, guys. We saw Evan Mobley make his return Monday. We were all a fan on Tuesday of how JB handled his return into the lineup without mix-matching their lineups and staggering Mobley and Allen. What do you expect from Darius Garland and his return to the lineup tonight? And what would you like to see from JB? Limit. Well, I mean, I think he's – they should – I think that obviously he should probably start the game. Um, see how that thing goes there because uh, he's got to find his place in this lineup. I mean, if, if Donovan's going to continue to be the, the main ball handler and continue to take that point guard role, then it's time for DG do, to – Do you think he will with Garland coming back? Yeah, he yeah, should. He should. He's yeah. got to be able to play without the ball, don't Listen, you Listen, DG, yeah. DG has to play – I agree, but I'm not sure – this, yeah, I don't know. this right now to me when I look at them and I'm not saying they're the same thing. I'm just trying to give you a comparison when Kyrie KD and James Harden went to Brooklyn together. Okay, when James Harden got there Kyrie said you the point guard. I'm not you. I'm not doing it no more with James. You got it. Darius got to do the same thing with Facts. Donovan. Like you got to be. Facts. I got to work off ball. I got. I know it's not what you want to do. I know that you are really good with the ball in your hand, and you like to. You like to be a facilitator. But just like Donovan just did, he just had to change his whole game, and he's a better player because of it. Now you can become a better player because you can work off ball and you can show that you can create your own shot. And you all think of those Darius things. will do that? He has no choice. Or, or he, he, he well, go, we he hope. Go, that go, we have, that's listen, the team's I'm trying to keep. I'm trying to keep him in the starting lineup. That's what I'm saying. To be okay. In the so if you want to be a star, well, I I agree with everything. Because you said. I'm not, not sure the Cavs see it that way. If if not, if not, then you can come off the bench. and You could be the facilitator that you want to be. You could facilitate. You have to do it with the two. You could facilitate with them too. I, I think you could have both, right? Like you're not going to play him 12 minutes. So there's going to be. I think he's got to adjust his game, just like other people have to adjust yeah, their I game. Agree, I agree, but I just don't see if the Cavs see it that way. But yes, the Cavs will be better if when he's playing with Donovan, he's essentially the two guard, right? And Donovan's running the show. And, and you check her board he's minutes. one of the guys yeah. out there. Yeah, I'm not saying and, he got to do it for the whole game. But when Do- Donovan sits for some time, when Donovan sits, then he takes over during those minutes as right. the point guard. Because and you lose nothing. If there was right. one knock on Darius Garland, Mikey, you could say it. He's a guard. Sometimes you play guard. Look, sometimes guard get infatuated with dribbling the ball all over. The, he dribbling all under the basket, turning around, dribbling some more. And then he looking for a high handoff lob. That ain't how we've been playing. <laughs> Hopefully they showed him them game tapes like, hey, yeah. you see that corner? Go stand over there and wait to get this ball and be a knockdown shooter. Yeah. He's going to have to switch something up. He dribbled too much to be on the, in his offense. And that don't mean he can't if he gets a pass taken to the basket. Yeah. No, yeah, he can do but, that. But, yeah, we don't want to become dribble, 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 dribble because that's the team's playing their best basketball in two I, years. I hope that that's the way the Cavs see it and that Darius is voluntarily willing to go into that role. Yeah. My fear is... When I said, well, what if he doesn't? You said, you, you looked like you were getting ready to say, well, then you're going to have to get him up out of here. No, that's not. I, he's my favorite Cavs player. Okay. I'm not trading him. Yeah, well, the thing is you can't <laughs> because of the two, I, I think Donovan is viewed more as the short-term player. Here. I agree. And so but the, you got to be careful that if you put him in that role and he doesn't want to do it, Next thing you could be seeing is him coming up for and saying, I want to trade. Well, we can't we'll, – look, we, we, listen. Well, this is what I'll say. I'll say that in his career, it's going to come a time where you got to learn how to do something else. You can't just be a one-trick pony. You got to right. be able to do other things. Donovan Mitchell, everybody else on this team has done it outside of Jared Allen because he ain't shooting no threes. But everybody else has, has something on their game where something's happened and it's been forced to work on something and they've translated it to the game and it's brought success. Right. Why is he any different? No, I agree with you. Listen, I 100% agree with you. But as you know, players don't always see it that way. That's right. He can still do his yeah. thing. Like, I'm not I taking times, the ball. But he's I'm play not taking the ball. I'm not taking oh, the ball. No, I'm the point, and yeah, I'm, we don't I'm not taking I mean, the ball out your hands hey, like that. Like, he ain't I, proven I, nothing. It's not what you league. think I'm hey, saying. Hey, you know what you do? You, you, you pull out this phone, and you, you tell him, listen, hey, they'll be like, who is this? Oh, that's Colin Sexton. Don't be That's what I'm saying. Listen, that's what I'm leaning towards. Don't do yourself like that. We remember how that thing came around. Don't don't you do that. Colin, tail Colin Sexton is what is a top guard right now in the West. Well, you don't believe that? Look, he's listen. a scorer. Is he's he, a one-trick pony. McNuggets, is he not doing his thing? One. What does he do besides scoring? Colin Sexton. 
He scores. He can score. Yeah, he's yeah. Good That's score. that one shot Dillinger. <laughs> By the way, uh, <laughs> I, you pull your phone out and say, this is college. I, shit. I, you got I, one I, shot. I'm out. I texted somebody in the know with the Cavaliers yesterday. <laughs> oh, man. And I said, I think Mobley, we were saying yesterday that we think Mobley should be shooting three-pointers, more three-pointers, three to four three-pointers a game. A, will that happen? B, do the Cavs believe he's capable? C, you know, is he confident in himself? Yeah. He go, and the response was, and this guy is somebody who knows the team very well, he says it's not going to happen because he has no confidence in his three-point shot. Now, he said the team 100% believes he can be a three-point what shooter. What are you talking about, Evan? Yeah, who the hell else would I be talking I about? Follow, follow we just had this conversation <laughs> yesterday, Tyvis. Tyvis forgot what the first topic of the Jeez. show was 12 minutes in and didn't know who you are talking about Dang after an entire monologue so, and his picture. Because he was screen. digging in his phone and he I was paying attention. No, I thought he was still talking about this. We'll no. Point, no, no, no. So he does what? not think it's going to happen, <laughs> that he's not going to be out one of the four guys because his confidence level is I, low. And the that's shape, what I said yesterday. You did, you were, and you were right, the, but – he, he did say that the team totally believes in him. It's all about his own confidence. Right. And he, he's got to work on that. Because he does. He, you, you know what know. he got to do? Not give a F. Just shoot it. You know, you know what, you know <laughs> what he should do? It. I don't care if I make it. I'm going to hey, shoot it, though. Here's what he should do. He Next should, thing you know, wet. Ooh. That comes with the next one. You don't even need to do that. You go down to the Wolstein Center. You talk to my man's and Monty Bates Number and two. figure out how he has no conscience. <laughs> <laughs> None. No remorse. Gee, do you think that that's a DNA trait? Because <laughs> I, I do. That that is definitely a DNA trait. <laughs> like people who up. people who <laughs> got that. It, that's a special. Now that could be tra- that could be tricky. You can either turn into a dictator or you can shoot good. Like you don't ever know. You double down. <laughs> I'm du- I, I'm, I never have been wrong. But this dude, when he pulling up like that, oh, he is no. Like he has, he don't. I, he's not even there. He's, a, he's in. He's in purgatory somewhere. He Sometimes he'll even hold the pose. Yeah, and he misses. And, and and it's a step back. He been turning around. I said, bro, that that Steph Curry tendencies. He's, he he's turning around. Look, I, see, look. that's why I think it's being a shooter is in your DNA. It's there. You, it, I think it is. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't learn to be a, a shooter, but a, a, the shooter's mentality it's, is in your DNA or it's not. Why would that bother you though? Like, if it, I it, shoot it, it if I, I'm talking about pure as a person, like forever, but you shoot it and miss. First of all, ain't nobody expecting you to make it no way. So no, but you Ty playing is, with house money because that's not <laughs> that, that ain't. that's not attainable long term. You, You're saying. Shoot it. We don't care if you miss. Shoot it. If he was 0 for 5 from 3 in five straight games, I, I got to I gotta stand up and say, okay, can we stop shooting well, threes? Well, we'll know. We, well, Negativity. What if he won for 4? People seek to be liked in life. 25% isn't it? People seek to be liked, liked in life. And if you are doing something and it's not successful. And that's successful, a DNA characteristic. Yes. You, you sit there and you're like, man, I... I I want to do well, so I'm not going to do that because people like like no, yeah, I'm not going to do that. You just brought up the point last year, yesterday that uh, what Brook was it? Brook Lopez? No, Ro- uh, Brook Lopez. Lopez. It yeah. was Brook Lopez. Never shot, and then all of a sudden he shot. No, it raised our Rondo. He never shot. It, but he's not. He wasn't a good shooter. But, but he, and by the end of his career, he was, was at the end. So, so it's he, like he, this kid's much <laughs> better. See Jason, what I'm saying? Jason Kidd's a good example of that. Jason it, Kidd was not a good shooter. He's yeah. top ten all time in threes made in NBA. Blake Griffin got a lot better. Blake in his Griffin was a it, dunker. It, it, Next it, thing you know, it's the conviction, boy. <laughs> you, you ever? It, it, I, I compare it to dieting, right? When you diet and you lose a couple of pounds, and somebody come up to you and say, "Hey, man, you look like you're working out." That's a drug. You feel good about it. It is a drug. It gives you more motivation to continue to do what you're doing. Mm. It's just like three-point shots. When you see one of them go in. Oh, my goodness. You're like, oh, that's it. That's That's all I Oh, I found it. Oh, I found it. (laughs) Look, you're going to be sitting on that wing like this.